In with KVAL Chief Meteorologist Josh Kozart. We've been discussing this storm all week, Josh. And finally, it, it's, it's approaching. Yes. We still have a few more hours before we start to see. Maybe, again, everything's still quite literally up in the air. If we'll actually see that snowfall make its way down to the valley floor. But we've got to head in and issue those KVAL weather alert days from not only Thursday, but into Friday. And then you'll notice a bit of a warming trend as we dive our way into the weekend. But here's the breakdown. Our elevations and our communities are on the right side, the valleys. I don't expect any accumulation unless maybe a trace you consider but a lot of that will be melting on contact specifically for those roadways and sidewalks for the south coast it's just going to be rainy and cold but above 1200 feet that's where we could potentially get about a trace to two if not three inches Oak Ridge we're looking at you you're going to be probably the hot spot here within the next 12 hours or so as the last few little snow flurries push their way out of eastern Douglas County 138 likely on the snow packed side of things as more wet weather is anticipated, but the National Weather Service preparing a snow to two to five inches over the foothills, five to eight inches above 2000 feet. That winter weather advisory lasting through Thursday evening over the high terrain of the Cascades, the highest peaks six to 10 additional inches on top of the nearly foot they've already seen today. And anywhere from a trace to two inches is a possible above 1500 feet and about four inches above 2500 feet for parts of Coos and Douglas County. But snow packed roadways are still seen over Sandy and Pass. We'll discuss when some of the first few snowflakes will start to fall in our area in just a few minutes. Kendall.